Hello, my name is Michael Coulter, and this is Life in 90 Seconds, where one word can change the way you see yourself, the way you see other people, or the way you see your situation. I was having a conversation with a gentleman, another married gentleman, in regards to, you know, how can we better husbands and the challenges of trying to be a great husband. And we came to the conclusion that, you know what, it's difficult, very hard. We're trying to balance, you know, how we are as husbands, how we are as fathers, how we're trying to sue our, our best selves. And I was also reading in the Bible about a young lady named Abigail. Now, the Bible said now she was she was beautiful and very intelligent. I'm thinking like as a husband, who wouldn't want that? And she was married. But one of the things that she said about her husband is said that he didn't listen. I'm like, ooh, ooh ouch. You know, that kind of hurt me a little bit. I'm not saying I don't listen at all, but I may not be the best listener. So it definitely pointed some things out I need to kind of consider, right? But she just didn't stop there. She said he wasn't a good listener and she called him a fool. Now, in this case, when I'm looking at a, a, at a fool, I'm like, okay, either, you know what? You just do crazy stuff or you, make, you don't make the best decisions. And it's obvious, right? Obvious, at least to your spouse to say, you know what, you're not making the best decisions. She ended up leaving him. The story is very interesting. I'm leaving for King David, this, that, and the other. Not the point of it, but the idea is really to show that, you know what, sometimes, you know what, us as husbands, we don't listen. But we have to stop short of being, stop being fools, right? Of not, of having bad decisions being made in, in situations and really relying on, on good feedback and, and wisdom. And just the idea of trying to challenge ourselves as husbands, to, to be different, to be better, to really understand ourselves a little differently and hopefully be the best husband that we can be. Ultimately, you know what, we want that validation from our from our wives, right? To say that, hey, baby, you good, you got this. I believe in you, I believe in your choices. Um, but we can prevent some of the things that actually are taking place. So thank you very much. This is Life in 90 Seconds. Until next time.